from Marie Pigden Sewing Centre and today is the day that we reveal our surprise for you. Now so many of you have followed us on our recent London sewing tour which was just amazing. However, we did something extra special while we were there. As we interviewed and visited six of those sewing teachers here in London, we asked them to do something extra special for you. Now what this is, is that we interviewed them separately and they revealed some of their best fit tips. So we put together 27 fit tips for you. Now why we're doing this is because we understand as, as sewers that fitting our garments to our body shape can be very tricky. It can be one of the most challenging things that sewers find is fitting the garments to their body shape. So we interviewed these six of these fantastic sewing teachers in London and they shared many of their best fit tips and we put it together. So I'd like to give you a sneak peek of what you can expect to receive in the 27 fit tips. London and tip number four. This is one my mum taught me um, when I early on tried to make a pair of shorts after I'd only made two skirts when I first started to learn sewing and subsequently burst out into tears because I found it so hard. So we've all been there. Um, but one of the things she taught me about what tailors do with trousers is when once you sew the crutch, so from the um, back, you've got this to down to the center point, so that curve there. Then from the front, you've got down to the centre point there, that seam. Once you've sewn it and overlocked it, when you iron and press it, if you just stretch it gently as you iron it and then let it cool down, that just stretches the fabric in the stitching just a little bit and it gives it more give, which you need down there because there's a lot of stress with movement. You then do the same for the seams from the side, from your inner leg, to the midpoint and again from the other side of the inner leg to your midpoint so again once that's been sewn as well you'll press and you'll just stretch gently um, again just to stretch the fabric in the stitching and to just allow a bit more give in that area so there'll be no break <laughs> Hello, I'm Barley Massey and I run Fabrications on Broadway Market in Hackney, East London and I'm going to share with you another tip from my Refresher Wardrobe class that I run here at Fabrications. Now, do you have an old shirt, a little bit like this one? Certainly do, <laughs> so, and especially in the chambre, it's one of the most popular shirts. So there's, there's always shirts like that with a little bit of wear on the collar and the men just toss them out. Mm -hmm. And the fabric used in shirting is always fabulous quality, That's so it is a shame. Um, not not to do something with it. So, what idea did you come up with a, a shirt like that? So, um, what could you do? What, what I thought I could do with this was um, actually turn the shirt into a bit more of a dress sort of style that could be worn over leggings, and I created this. So, first of all, what I did was to cut off the sleeves, but I actually allowed a small. I didn't follow the shoulder line. I actually allowed a small. I followed the line from the side seam upwards. So it's a little cap sleeve in the back. A little cap sleeve indeed, yeah. yeah that's, that's great in Australia for the sun so that you've got your shoulders covered. So that, that looks really sweet, the little cap sleeve. So that's made quite a change. So we'll cut that off and then obviously added a channel and fed the elastic through Good. there to elasticate the sleeve. Um, I've also turned in the collar to make it again more into a mandarin style and just to change you know, the look of it. Then with the um, 
sleeves, I've then attached them onto the side sleeves. I've turned in the um, sleeves to avoid the raw edges yes. and then stitch them down directly onto that yes. side sleeve. And so you can see you can use so and that's just at the waistline, basically. Yeah, so, yeah. So you've top so you may want to play with it on your body and work out where as to like where it should be. be, and then you tie that up in the bow shape. I'll let you tie that. Well, I've literally just for this one, you know, just left it because um, I quite like the look of the sleeves, yeah. where you can see what it wants was well, when it has transformed yeah. as well. Well, that looks great, and and um, I'm sure there's lots of options that you can do to detail even these cuffs because. Okay. You know, you've got the classic look at the front. Then, when you turn around, you can have wow factor here. So <laughs> you could you could come up with trims and frills and sequins, bows, <laughs> all sorts of things. So it's a it's a surprise on the back of the garment. So depending on the shirt, you know, you could introduce all sorts of things. But that really does look wonderful. So as you said, with leggings, um, the layered look. Um, that's really giving a whole new life to a classic man shirt. So I think that's also brilliant. Excellent, thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Claire Louise Hardy, the Thrifty Stitcher, here in London with the lovely Marie Pigden, who is a fabulous sewing teacher from Australia. And today we're just having a little play with some patterns and showing you some fitting tips. So we're working with this uh, McCall's Palma Pletch pattern, which is an M6355. And the beauty of this pattern is that they know that women are all different shapes and that we're going to need to do some work to the pattern before we cut it out in our fabric. And they've done this pattern with all of these fitting lines on it for us. So um, I'm quite a small frame and I'm quite busty so I have a lot of problems fitting clothes which a lot of women who are busty do because everything if it fits my bust is too big here. Now the beauty of this system is that I'm going to add where I need extra fabric which is sort of this line. area um, and I'm not going to add where I don't need it which is my shoulders. So you need to take some measures first of all so you measure your full bust which is around here and then we measure your high bust, which is your chest. So I'm going to cut this pattern to my high bust, and then I'm going to do a full bust adjustment, which is essentially spreading the fabric so I've got just enough where I need it. Which is so if that looks exciting to you and something you would love to have, then all you need to do is wait just a few more days when we release it for sale. Our 27 Fit Tip is going to be available for you in just a few days. So stay tuned, look out for the email, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I'm Jacqueline Pigton from Marie Pigton Sewing Centre, and I hope you have a fantastic day.